Hi guys, it's Crafty Jackie here. I got to go to my first yard sale today. It is in the 40s. It is cold. But we, me and Becky and Ethan, or Liam, we plotted along. Anyway, we were determined. And I did get a few cute things and whatnot. So, let me get started. This I got for free. She said she was throwing it in. And it's, I think, 20... Baseball card protectors. Lots of pocket letters here. Alrighty. That was very exciting. Now, this one yard sale, I got this for $3. All this stuff for $3. It's a gingerbread man pot holder. One of those silicone ones. And a gingerbread man spatula. And a gingerbread man oven mitt and this is like a basket and you can put a picture in here to gingerbread man and it all was sitting in this gingerbread man box so I love gingerbread man so does uh, Java and gingerbread Carrie hence her name but um, anyway, I thought they were very cool. Very cool. Now, I almost missed this one. I just happened to bend down while I was walking out. And I found it. $3. Look at this flamingo platter. Is that not a beautiful platter? And it's, you know, ceramic. Hand painted, made in Thailand. Very nice. I'm happy. I also got this uh, napkin. I just bought one napkin. I'm going to use it more like for a doily kind of thing. Looks very 4th of July-ish. And then this, I love these cotton towels. This was a cotton dish towel. Red, white, and blue. Quarter piece. Some sales were good, some not good. Um, I also got two time or two timers, two Avon of the perfume perfume skin softeners. These are very good. They're, they're really creamy and moisturizing, and it is timeless. I wish you could smell them, but if you know Avon, you know what they smell like. And I've never smelled this one before, but I bought it. It smelled pretty good. And it's called Night Musk. So yeah. Smell? Can you guys smell it? And I got it in a Yankee candle bag. I didn't see any Yankee candles, but now. What else did I get? I got at a church sale, I got a uh, a collection of Amish romances by Kathleen Fuller, What the Heart Sees. And I believe there's like three books in here. And it was originally, I don't know how, I think I paid a dollar for it. I'm not really sure on the books. This one said a dollar. And this one is by a, a real popular author, um, Wanda Brunstetter. And it's The Brides of Webster County. And there's four novels in one. And this is another Amish romance. And for some reason, we never have enough. I gave a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of um, silverware to the Goodwill, and then we started using our dishwasher. So now we never have enough. We did I, when it was just Ron and I. We didn't use the dishwasher, so I bought a bunch of butter knives. None of them to match. I don't care. Just as long as I got butter knives. And I bought this little keychain, which, there it goes. Let's see, a Christian one that says, Abundant blessings. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans, something, I can't read it, it's too old, but I got that. And they gave me this free, the invitation, the New Testament. 
in print that I don't know anyone who could read it. But it was nice of them to give me the New Testament. So, all right, let's see what else I got. Now, I bought two items for the party I'm going to tonight for my friend who's turning 50. This one, because she said no gifts, but I figured if I pay it at a yard sale, she won't, she can't count that. So I got this, break open, it says in case of emergency, break open, loss of control kit, emergency diaper you can depend on. And it's got this little hammer here, that was 50 cents. And nobody ever, that's what everybody either ends up selling to see yard sales or whatever anyway, so I figure what the hey. This one is the Over the Hill Survival Kit, Get Up and Go Dietary Fiber. Uh, it's got some teeth here, oil of old age. A couple of these things are real. I think that's toothpaste, really. Uh, this is supposed to be hair dye. It's black paint and oil of old. It's black paint. I guess we need some black paint. That is really soap. It says anti-aging over the hill soap. Survival pills, I'm sure. Fairly certain it's candy. Yeah. And, uh, that's about it. So anyway, I thought that was real cute. And that one was 75 cents. And I got this because I have a small grater, but it's cracked. And this is actually an older one, and it's got a handle like this. And it's like this, and it's got the grating, different ones on each side. And then on the end, it's got like a chopper thing, so you could like chop onions and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was a dollar. And the last thing I got at that place was, for 75 cents, Paris Amour body lotion from uh, Bath and Body Works. And it smelled really, really good, so I figured, hey way cheaper than if I bought it at the store uh, and my last bag has in it oh this was from the lady that I got the protectors from the card protectors I bought a bunch of movies brought at the camper because we can get a t we can get TV but we don't get movies so I got this one called the Tin Man follow a new yellow brick road uh, I never heard of it but it sounded, it's an Oz for a new age. Sounded good to me. I don't know. Uh, this one I've seen a million times, but golly, who could, who could not watch this over and over again? An officer and a gentleman. And this one is the only scary one I got. And I do like, I love the book, so the movie is not as good as the book, but I got Salem's Lot. I should play that one for the grandkids, and then when they spend the night, they'll be scared, right? And this, oddly enough, I've never watched all the way through, but um, it is uh, Monty Python's Holy Grail. I thought, and the Holy Grail, I thought it would be worth watching. And I have never seen this movie either. I heard it was really good, though. What Dreams May Come. So, I got the movies, and I do believe that is all I bought. So, I hope you guys just... I hope you guys are warm where you are and that you're not like we here in Indiana who are freezing our tutors off because um, it's annoying to be in the middle of May and you're, it feels like winter time. So um, I thank you for watching. I, I want to welcome my new subscribers and I'm hoping you're having a great weekend. So in the meantime, I will say thank you. Goodbye. I got to get ready for that party pretty soon. Ron's bringing us some food right now. So I will talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye. And don't forget, stay crafty.